So I'm here at the Dan Foss Mobile Training Unit, and we're at the NSAFC training event, training technicians, teaching them how to work on CO2. And I'm here with some Dan Foss experts learning about how the high pressure valve works. Do you want to walk us through how the high pressure valve works? Sure, we have a Dan Foss uh, CCMT high pressure suspension valve. Uh, generally, we have a reference that takes at the outlet of the gas cooler. The pack controller has an inbuilt algorithm that tries to maintain the gas cooler optimum pressure based on the set point where we set the minimum and the maximum uh, gas cooler pressure. Yeah, and so this line here, is this the, coming from the gas cooler, this line here? Exactly, it's at the outlet of the gas cooler. We call this a PGC, the pressure of the gas cooler. And we set uh, the reference, thereby the pack controller tries to control this stepper matter valve to maintain an optimum pressure in the gas cooler. Exactly. So there's arrows on them, so you got to make sure they're in the right direction. And depending on the CCMT, there could be a strainer inside. I don't think on this CCMT you have a strainer. Usually you'll have a strainer before somewhere's on the line to protect this valve. On the larger one, I think it's the 16, 16, 16 and above the 40, has a replaceable strainer on it. The 42. Yes. The two largest ones, they'll have inlet strainer, so you can actually isolate it. So we, I back up here a little bit. You see there's isolation here and here. For this example, you'd have to shut down the, the, the system, but you'd isolate it here, and then you could take it apart. Always go into the manufacturer guide, check it out. So there's gaskets inside there that you'll have to replace. You can clean that screen. But this is a startup component. So when you're starting up a system, this is a component that you will need to check. Not on the CCM T2, but on the larger models.